Let's add custom data to a map using Mapbox Studio. For this video, follow along with our tutorial page, Getting Started with Mapbox Standard in Studio. First, if you haven't done so already, either click the Sign In or Sign Up button in the top right corner of your browser. Once logged in, scroll down to the Getting Started section and click the blue Download GeoJSON button. This will be the test data we use in this tutorial. A GeoJSON file is a special JSON-based format that stores spatial data such as points, lines, polygons to be displayed on a map. These files can also store other associated properties such as business hours, average service costs, etc. And now that we have some data, let's create a new map style in Mapbox Studio. First, go to studio.mapbox.com and then click the new style button. In the menu that appears, click the blue start with standard button. Once the style editor opens, double click untitled in the top left corner of your browser and then rename your style. Next, let's create a new layer and add some data to the map. In the style editor, click the word layers and then click the plus button to create a new layer. Now, click the upload data button and drag and drop the GeoJSON file you downloaded into your browser. Then click the blue confirm button. Once your data has finished uploading, click the none selected dropdown under source and a list of data sets will appear. Click on the item named NYC bike parking shelters and then select the option that appears in the dropdown. Now to view the added data, click the style tab above source. And if we rotate our globe around to New York, we'll see a series of black circles across the globe. Now that our data is on our map, let's style it. First, let's change the circle size by clicking radius and changing it to 10 pixels. Next, click color and change the circle's color. You can adjust the color with the sliders, but for this example, we'll paste the following hex code into the HSL input field. Now let's make the circles slightly transparent so you can see what's underneath them. To do so, change the alpha of your color from 100 to 75. Next, let's change the stroke color and match the shade to the transparent center. To do so, copy and paste the same hex code into the text input next to HSL. However, in this case, keep the alpha at 100 so the circle stands out on the map. Next, let's set the size of the stroke by clicking stroke width and setting the value to one pixel. Now, if you look at your map, the circles are rendered above everything else by default. This means they will spawn over paths, buildings, and even city and street names. To change where your layer renders on your map, let's use slots. For this example, let's add our layer to the top slot by clicking map box standard drop down and dragging the NYC bike parking shelter layer into the dotted lines around the top slot. Now that our data has been added and customized, let's customize our base map. Click on the title Mapbox Standard in the Layers tab to open the configuration panel. First, let's change the font by clicking the drop down next to font and then selecting an option. Next, under visibility, click the toggle next to POI labels and turn this toggle off. The extra POI context is unnecessary for our example. Lastly, let's change the light presets configuration. For now, let's set it for from day to night. Now, if you look at our map, you'll see our circles are rendering black. This is because Mapbox Standard uses dynamic 3D lighting to light the whole map like a scene. So when we set our light preset from day to night, the light was dimmed, which also dimmed out your custom layer. You may want this behavior in some cases. Here, however, we want the circles to still be bright so it's easy for users to see the data on our map. To brighten the circles, we can adjust the emissive strength. Emissive strength determines how much light a layer emits. To increase this value, click on the NYC bike park shelters layer and then click the style tab if it's not already open. Then at the very bottom of the style tab, click on emissive strength. Back at the top under circle emissive strength, set the value to one. When you've finished editing your new map style, we can publish our changes. Open the publishing menu by clicking the publish button in the top right corner of your browser. In the new window, you'll see the original style and your current version with your edits in a side-by-side -side comparison. If you're happy with your changes, click the publish button at the bottom of the window and then hit the okay button. Now, if you click the share button, you'll be able to use this style with Mapbox JLJS or with our Android or iOS Maps SDKs. Thanks for watching and see our other tutorials for more Mapbox content.